grouped frequency tables. Now, we, when we do these, we use what are called class intervals. So to help you understand what they are and, and what these dot points are talking about, we're just going to quickly come up with some really simple numbers such as 0, 2, 10, uh, 14, 8, and uh, 19. Okay, well, we just randomly pick some numbers. And when we're talking about class intervals, we're saying we could say something such as which numbers are between 0 to 4, the class interval 0 to 4, and then what numbers are between 5 to 9, what numbers are from 10 to 14, and what numbers are from 15 to 19. So um, the numbers from 0 to 4, there's two of them, 0 and 2, right? The numbers from 5 to 9, there's an 8 there. And the numbers from 10 to 14, you've got your 10 and your 14, so there's two of them, 10 and 14. And the numbers that are from 15 to 19, there's just one of them, the 19. Okay, and when you're doing class intervals, there's some very important rules. So first dot point says, make sure the intervals do not overlap. For example, you can't go from 0 to 5 and then from 5 to 10 because if we have the number 5, which one would it go in? Okay, so no overlapping. Second dot point says make sure there are no gaps between in intervals. For example, don't use 0 to 4 then 10 to 14. So that's basically saying, you know, you, you can't just go 0 to 4, skip 5 to 9 and go straight to 10. 14. Okay. Third step says choose intervals that are easy to read, such as intervals of five units or ten units. And what that's saying is don't don't pick intervals like zero to three or or zero to eight. Really odd intervals. Okay. You want intervals of five or ten as much as possible. So we'll put a cross through there. You do not want that. Sometimes you can't help it. Anyway. Uh, the fourth step says choose intervals that start on the exact value. For example, use 0 to 9 instead of 1 to 10. So they prefer you to start on 0 rather than the 1. Alright, let's um, finish this video and we'll go on to the next example.